All right, now it is time to continue on with my sweater. So this is gonna be part two of working on it. So when I left off, I realized that there was no way my arm was gonna fit with the original armhole that was in this. I was like, I do not see any way that I'm getting it through. So I cast on more stitches under the arm. I think I might be able to, yeah, this stretches quite a bit. I think I'll be able to get my arm through it because it's not stretched as, as much as it will go. But anyways, if you have not skinny arms <laughs> too, what I ended up doing is like, I think I was supposed to cast on five stitches under the arm, but that armhole was so tiny. I was like, there's no way I'm getting my arm in there. And I'd rather have, I'd rather risk the armhole being too big than being too small and not even being able to put this wire on. So I cast on 35 stitches under the arm. I added 35 stitches to this because that original arm length was not going to do it for me. Um, I think this will work for me. This is quite stretchy as well. So it still looks kind of small, but I think, I think this is going to work. Um, but yeah, I cast on 35 stitches for the underarm. I know this sweater is supposed to have like negative ease, but I did not think I was going to be able to fit in that. Like it's supposed to be a tight fitting sweater. But that was too tight. So what I did was I went back, I went back to where the row where you cast on stitches under the arms. I added 35 stitches under there. <laughs> I was going to do like 20 and then I was like, mm, I don't know if that's enough. So I was like, let's do 35. Sure. So under both arms, I added 35 stitches and hopefully this will fit. <laughs> kind of small but I think I think it's gonna work out I think so anyways I need to pick the next color for my sweater because I came to the end of the blue so in order to continue with this sweater I need my next color so I did get a bag for this project um, I'm also putting like current works in progress in here. Um, I have my hat that I'm working on in here as well. I just threw stuff in here. So this is the hat project that I'm working on. Um, and then this was my first hat attempt and it ended up being so big. Um, I followed a pattern and that was not a good idea because following that pattern this thing is huge, look at it. This is a huge hat, like, okay. If I put this on, okay, it's cute, right? But like, I feel like if the wind blows, it's just gonna come right off, it's, it's huge. So either I need to find someone with a really big head that can wear it, or it's just gonna be an example of what I've knit this week. <laughs> um, I have knit three hats this week, like this last week. First one was bigger than that one. I don't know how, like, okay. So I was following a knitting pattern and it wanted me to cast on 112 stitches. That's the one I unraveled for, um, and it was supposed to be for medium worsted weight yarn, which is what I was using. And it was bigger than this one. With this one, I only cast on 96 stitches, and it might be vaguely usable. It is really cute, honestly. It's just so big, like, like I'm barely pulling on it. There's so much room in this thing. Um, so this was a cast on of 96 stitches. And then this third one, which I think I've got the right number of stitches to make like a decent sized normal hat. This was 88 stitches. Um, so that pattern wanted me to use a lot more stitches than I needed really. Um, so this is actually the third hat I've worked on this week because I really wanted to make a hat and first attempt I just 
frogged the entire thing because I knew it was going to be way too big to even be a usable thing. Um, but that's, that's enough talking about the hats, I guess. This one is really cute. It's just really big still. It's still really big, but might be usable. Anyways, let's pick the next color. I'm sorry I went on kind of a rant with that, but not gonna look. Okay, let's shake it up. Shake it up. All right. This one it is. This one. I don't want another blue stripe. Do I have to stick with it? I should probably stick with it, but I because it's supposed to be random, but at least it's a different blue. Well, I'm a little disappointed because it's this like medium blue. This was a really light blue, so it will be different. I guess we're just gonna have to go with it. I guess we're just gonna have a very blue block right there. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna stick with the randomness. If random wants blue on blue, then blue it is gonna be. Want to pick the next color? Do you want me to pause? It doesn't matter. Did you wrap some? They're all wrapped. I wrapped them so they wouldn't tangle because they started to all tangle together and it was a mess. So I had to wrap them individually to keep them all from tangling. Alright, what's the next color? Okay, we're not doing this. We already had a red stripe. I want a different color. <laughs> okay, he picked another one. We already have a green stripe. I want a new color. New color. Or should you just do this one? Wait. What? Whatever this blue one is. Blue? No, that's my other knitting project. Oh. oh I just it keeps it. getting tangled. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. This pink. is this That'll is do. from the um uh, uh the Hanukkah sampler. That'll do. All right. So I was about to start knitting, but my husband called, and on his way to work, he got in a car accident, and apparently our car is totaled. It'll be okay though. We did pay insurance on. Our car loan, our chickens are making noise. Um, a $300 like insurance fee that if something were to happen to the car, then it would like cancel out the loan and we won't have to make, still pay for a car that's ruined. So hopefully everything will work out okay. I think he's okay, he was able to call me. I haven't heard back much. I think he was calling AAA and he's taking care of the accident stuff. I don't think he's very far away. I think he's only like 11 minutes away when it happened. So hopefully he will come with the tow truck soon. Um, but this is the next color in my knitting project. And today it might be sucky, but at least the sweater is kind of cute. I also asked about the other person and he said the other person is fine too so um i don't know how he's doing really um he just had called me really quick after it happened so but he should hopefully be here soon
All right, good morning. So, update, my husband is fine. He didn't want to go to the hospital or, hospital or anything to get checked out, even though me and my mom kind of wanted him to, but he felt fine. He just has like a scrape on his arm and his side from a side airbag. Um, but other than that, he seems fine. But we have to figure out getting a new car. Um, so I did list my two gunny sack dresses on eBay. So those will be available to purchase. And I might, I might list my Edwardian lawn dress, lingerie dress. It's like a white lacy, um, kind of antique dress from the Edwardian period, like early 1900s. Um, so I might list that too, but I'd have to get good pictures. Um, I might do that later today. But I worked on, I didn't work on it much, but I did work on my Christmas sweater a little bit. Um, right now we're using my mom's car. She's the caretaker of my great aunt, so they have my great aunt's car and she can't really drive, so my mom was just going to use her car for now. Um, they're like on the same insurance anyways. Um, and then we're borrowing her car until we figure out getting another car. <laughs> um, so hopefully everything will be settled within two weeks. I don't know. We have to, um, wait for the insurance to like tell us that our car's total to give like proof to our bank. And then we'll have to figure out, we might get money back from insurance because we have full coverage. And since our car is totaled, I think there's a chance we might get money back from the accident. I don't know, but we'll have to figure out how much so we know what we can get when we're looking around. Um, <clears throat> but the last color that was chosen is this. So there's a whole lot of blue in this section of the sweater. It goes from light blue to a slightly darker blue to like a blue green variegated yarn and I think it's actually really pretty. I love variegated yarn. It kind of keeps my interest more because I like seeing the colors change as I knit. Um, so I think I really like that we got one of these variegated colors because I think they're very pretty. So I have just been knitting with this color. Oops. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish knitting up this color and then we'll have to see what color I get next. All right, so I've come to the end of this color and it's time to pick a new one. Oh my gosh. I don't, is, is this red? as red as not. I kind of want different colors in my sweater. <laughs> do we want to do red again? I guess we can do red again. <laughs> red it is. Good morning. It's the last day of November. This to tomorrow is December 1st. It is November 30th, and it is time for me to pick my next color in my sweater. So the last color I picked was red, and I was actually a little bummed out that it was a repeat color, but I feel like it looks good. It ties it all in. Um, so now I'm going to pick the next color. Please don't be red. <laughs> What's this? 
Oh, is it one of the dark colors? <gasps> yes. Is it the black? <laughs> yes, it's the black one from the Chemnitz um, Hanukkah sampler. Yay. I I'm really excited about the black color being in it. <laughs> I really think that this making this pattern in black would be so cute, like in such a wearable garment sweater, like in a basic black. I just think it would be, it would look really good in this pattern, but I haven't really worked on my hat lately that I've been working on. So it's a two by two rib. Um, I haven't really worked on it since I think I last checked in, but, um, I want it to like fold over. So that's why it's super long. Um, and I haven't decreased yet, but it'll be a nice comfy hat. Okay, um, sorry if you can't really see me, but I just finished that black stripe this morning, and now I'm going to choose the next color, so that's, this is the opening of the bag. I'm not looking in. All right, what are we going to get? What's this? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? This feels weird. These are my um, needle stoppers okay i had thrown them in there else but i couldn't remember all right let's try this one no oh, it's a, another green one i'd like a white i can't believe i just said that i was about to say i would really love like a white stripe in there and it's white oh my gosh i can't believe that <laughs> um i because i want like contrast and variations so that's interesting so just after the black we're gonna have a white stripe can't really see it that well okay so hold it up here so after black we're gonna do white i can't believe i was just about to say that i was like i've been really hoping for like a white stripe to go in it and this one ended up being white so i'm gonna attach this Okay. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I know I could, like, loosen up the ends and felt them together, but I just feel more comfortable making a little knot. <laughs> I know I'm going to have to weave in these little ends, Maybe. It'll be fine. It's on the inside of the sweater. You won't even really see it anyways. So let's la knit this last little bit of black. And then we'll have a white stripe. Okay, I just finished the white stripe, so now we're gonna choose our next color. 
Okay, let's try this one. Oh my gosh, it's so hard opening these with one hand. Let's get in here. What color is it? I hope it's not white again. <laughs> it's that bright green that I love oh this is great I love this bright green <laughs> this is gonna be so cute I love it okay so the next color is gonna be bright green oh my gosh I just noticed how Pokemon-y this looks with the red oh my with the red black and white wow <laughs> it looks like a pokeball right here and then it's gonna be green So I think I have done a decent amount on this sweater so far, so I might end the video here. Um, so basically, I had redone the sleeve split and I added a bunch of stitches under the arm. And then after I did that, I did start doing decreases in that same area so that it got bigger. But then I also brought the body back in like the pattern was originally supposed to be. Um, so I'm hoping it's still looks a lot like how it should look but I think my arm should be able to fit in it now I felt like that armhole was so tiny that I wouldn't even be able to put it on if I finished it as the pattern was written but um we've basically this week done this much of the sweater like from the underarm here to this green that's quite a bit it's like yeah it's quite a bit you can even see how there are a bunch of increases in here and you kind of see it decrease in when I did um I did like two or three decreases on each row like following each other so that it would kind of gradually get back smaller um so hopefully that works out I mean we'll well I guess end up seeing when I finish this and try it on because I'm probably not going to finish I'm probably not going to try it on until it's completely finished but this oh I love this color striping is so much fun and these the red black and white being in that order looks so much like a pokeball to me I'm I'm not hating it but <laughs> um and then there's like a big block of blue here because we got blue and then another blue and then a variegated with blue and green but I think this is gonna be really cute when it's done especially with these huge puffy sleeves it's gonna be so adorable I'm so excited to do this sweater it's gonna be so much fun and then after I finish this sweater I will be working on some vintage 1940s patterns which I really want to work on but I'm not gonna let myself until I finish this sweater I'm gonna finish this project first should I show you? So earlier this week, I'm just going to show you real quick. I got Campus Classics Volume 17. This was printed in 1944. And I got, I really wanted this one because of a particular sweater that I'll show you real quick. But there's also a really cute vest in here that I will want to try eventually. But this pattern right here is so cute look at this adorable I really want to make this sweater I think it would be super cute I think it would be cute to make it in like a cream color and then have the um stripey bubble designs whatever you would call them along it in green and then also have the green up in the trees with the I want to say those are supposed to be either moose or reindeer, I'm not sure. Um, but it also shows like the color work in the back for this. Oh no. This, the binding on this magazine is kind of coming off, but uh, it's hard to show it. Oh my gosh. It's coming apart. Um, 
I wonder, I could probably restaple this, although the paper's kind of ripped a little. It's not in absolute terrible condition, but um, this is like the color work. This page is barely hanging on, but this is the color work on it. Super cute. I'm trying to be careful with it, but it's really hard. Um, and then the vest that I think is actually really cute is right. I think this would be really adorable. I think that's a pretty cute vest. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's also a silly thing. Um, I, this also made me want to get this pattern book. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Prepare yourselves. Comfy panties. They're basically shorts, but they're called comfy panties. And it just sounds so funny to me. <laughs> um, so I might eventually make those too. I think it would be funny to make those. Um, they are also practical. They're like knitted shorts. Um, anyway, so I do want to knit some vintage things coming up. I wonder if it might be better if I like scan these pages in and print it out so I don't risk damaging this anymore than the damage that's already happened to it. This is like the spine. It's coming apart, but this is going to be really fun to work on. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to work on these vintage patterns until I finish my current ones. I'm going to be good. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a good day. Okay, bye.